Machusta. Time Warner. MCA. Electronic Arts. AT&T. What have they heard? Audio. What have they seen? Video. What do they know? 3DO. Interactive Multimedia. The new standard. Breakthrough technology. 50 times the performance. Custom graphics architecture. Parallel animation engines. 32-bit risk processor. You are in control. There is no substitute for experience. So fly into the future. Learn a new word. Go in a jet or the wing of a bird. See a whole new world or create one of your own. Experience sounds never heard. Experience scenes never shown. The 3DO Experience. If you feel your opponent's weight is forward and braced low, Firepower, stealth floating, top speed. Approaching frontal load, engaging high blood cells. Picking up some solar wind turbulence, I'm picking up some hull ionization. Never stop learning. The possibilities are endless. Never stop growing. Because there's no substitute for experience. Enjoy the 3DO experience. We've come to the final stop on this visit to a new world of wonders. It's a whole new kind of product from Panasonic called the Real 3DO Interactive Multiplayer, which attaches to your television set, plays a new generation of interactive CD-ROM software, and offers a new level of entertainment and education possibilities in the home. It's a product born of partnership between movers and shapers of technology. Among them, Matsushita, the largest consumer electronics manufacturer in the world, and MCA, representing some of the world's most popular movie and music entertainment. At the heart of the Panasonic Real Interactive Multiplayer is a new multimedia technology from the 3DO company, which produces an audio and visual experience leagues ahead of anything else you've seen on other interactive systems, like photorealistic graphics. 
heart something video, CD quality sound, and astounding animation. Hi, I'm Trip Hawkins. I'd like to tell you why 3DO is going to be the biggest product in your store since the VCR. There's three reasons I feel this way. First, we have a jump of a factor of 50 in performance over the current product generation, and there's never been a jump that big in the history of consumer electronics. Secondly, we've got the support of the third-party software industry, and that's incredibly important. There are already over 80 software titles that the software industry is funding on their own to bring to market for 3DO in the next year. That's more software support than any new format has ever had. Third, 3DO is an interactive multiplayer, which means that in addition to interactive applications, it also can play your music CDs, your photo CDs, and new digital video CDs. In fact, with 3DO's multimedia technology, the Panasonic Real System brings the most sophisticated, cutting-edge interactive software to the home. You can soar through the unknown, take to the road, battle treacherous foes, visit far-off worlds, and learn while having fun. How does the real interactive multiplayer stand up to other interactive systems? Only by comparison will you see there is no comparison. Here is what you would experience on other systems. And now experience the Panasonic Real System. Other systems. And real. Other systems. And real. With the 3DO multimedia technology, it's easy to see how Panasonic Real Systems will revolutionize consumer electronics in the home. And that means a whole new market for your business. This is a quick outline of what I'm going to cover this morning. I'd like to tell you a little bit about the results of our public offering, talk about the addition of our third hardware partner, our entry into the coin-operated game market, the establishing of our second foundry for our silicon custom chips, explain our full motion video strategy, and we'll talk about the status of the product launch for this fall, and then I'd like to give some introductory comments about our plans in the network area, particularly on the cable side. Uh, just recently, we, we completed a public offering, and the uh, net proceeds to the company were $48.5 million. One of the interesting things about this offering is that, first of all, the market was very receptive to it. We, we sold the shares to the public at $15 a share, and it uh, opened trading at 18 and it has been over 20 ever since. And this is a reflection of tremendous market interest and confidence in multimedia as a new techno technology direction, and a tremendous vote of confidence for 3DO. Plus, it's nice to have the money in the bank. Now, a couple of other noteworthy things is that there were no selling shareholders in the public offering. All of the current shareholders, both employees and corporate partners, want to hang on to their 3DO shares. And in fact, we all agreed to not sell any for another 18 months. So this is our basically saying that you know, we're totally betting on the future of 3DO. And we're not going to be out there speculating and trading the stock. We're going to be hanging in there for the next couple of years building the company into a successful business. I'd like to now announce that Sanyo has joined 3DO as our third hardware partner, uh, joining us with uh, Matsushita and AT&T. We have now concluded our license agreement with AT&T. I'm happy to announce that today. And Sanyo will be showing uh, this prototype product, which is the Sanyo 3DO player, will be uh, on display in the 3DO booth. We're just now in the uh, finalization stages. We've completed the hardware license agreement, but we're going through the uh, finalization and formal uh, signing process in the next couple of weeks. We're very happy to have Sanyo on board. 
And of course, this gives us three major manufacturing and marketing companies, and a key to establishing a world consumer electronics standard is to have multiple brands supporting it in the market. We're also entering the coin-operated game market, and this is, again, unusual to have the, uh, the backing of companies that want to take a technology that was developed for low-cost consumer use and put it into a commercial environment like the coin-operated market. And Atari Games, a subsidiary of Time Warner, they were the signers of our first coin-op license, and the uh, second coin-op license was signed by American Laser Games. And uh, representing uh, Atari Games today is Barry Kane, Vice President. And we also have Bob Grieb, President of American Laser Games with us. And we expect uh, to see coin-operated 3DO products in the marketplace within a year. Now I'd like to outline our full motion video strategy, which has many different levels. Uh, we'll, we'll be illustrating, both here in our demonstration and in our booth, the uh, sort of baseline performance for full motion digital video, which is what we call Cinepak. Now, this is a technology that we licensed from SuperMac, and which we combined with some compression technologies that are built into 3DO hardware. And it's something that runs on all 3DO players. It does not require any hardware add-ons whatsoever. And we'll be showing uh, many examples of how that can be used for both video playback as well as uh, in interactive title development. Now in addition to Cinepak, we wanted to support MPEG-1 as an expansion option. And this is the same MPEG-1 that Philips is introducing as an expansion option for CDI. And our point of view about MPEG-1 is that it's kind of a transition step for full motion video. That's one of the reasons why we chose not to build it in and it will be replaced by MPEG-2 within a few years, but it's an important transition step in the market. We wanted to make sure that if our customer wants MPEG-1 video CDs, that they'll be able to play them. Now, of course, in our case, we also, because we have a double-speed CD drive, we can actually get higher quality MPEG because we can run twice the data rate off of the CD, which means the amount of compression can be cut in half, and, and reducing the amount of compression means that you're not throwing away as much of the uh, image quality, and we can get a lot closer to the quality that people expect. Now, to update you on some details about the launch, we're on track. A lot of software is in development now. The Panasonic hardware will be going into production soon in support of uh, first shipments in October. Uh, we have the final silicon, which we just recently received from AT&T, and that's checked out successfully. Uh, Panasonic will be uh, shortly talking to you about some of their uh, introductory plans. And we're all set to proceed from the U.S. launch this fall to launches in Japan and Europe next year. So now I would like to introduce Dick Lovasolo to talk about what Panasonic is doing. Dick? We are very pleased to announce that Panasonic will be beginning shipping this real 3DO interactive multiplayer in September of this year for retail rollout in October. And we will be supporting this introduction with an aggressive advertising, public relations, and promotional programs to quickly capture the attention of the public and to educate and excite the consumers about 3DO. As you have heard from TRIP, the software community is lining up behind this new technology, producing exciting titles which will help establish this product in the marketplace this fall. Thank you, Dick. Here's a status update on software. We now have over 300 licensees that have signed up to develop 3DO software. As you can see, there's a quite a bit of geographic dispersion. We have quite a few in both Europe and Japan. Of these companies, 92 of them have already purchased from 3DO development systems for development. Now, that of course leaves a couple hundred that haven't, but a lot of those have only signed the license in the last three months. So a lot of times companies will sign the license and then take a few months to decide what they're going to do before they start spending uh, money on equipment. Of the 92 companies that have started development, they've ordered 220 development systems that we've delivered so far, and there are 91 titles in development. In my entire experience with interactive technology, I've never seen anything close to this in terms of the amount of money being spent, the degree of support, and the number of companies involved in developing software for a new format at this early stage of its development. Because, of course, we only started six months ago delivering equipment and signing licenses, and we still have another six months before Christmas. And to have this much support at this stage is really fantastic. 
Uh, this is how the 91 titles break down. You can see there's support in a number of different categories. As we've been saying all along, this is not just another video game machine. Of course, you can see that there are a lot of titles that we consider to be video games in development, which of course will be really spectacular compared to their predecessors on other systems. But we have strong support in categories like simulation, education, interactive movies, sports, family, and information. And I think you're going to see a lot, all of these areas expand dramatically over the course of the next year. Now, a lot of these titles will be coming out in the first half of 1994, but we expect that uh, by the uh, October time period when we're in the retail stores, we'll probably have at least 10 titles available for sale, and that number will be over 20 by Christmas time. So I'd like to just uh, talk about another business area that we're moving into. We think that 3DO as a core technology has many applications in many different market areas, and the uh, number two focus for the company of course, CD-ROM being the primary focus, but the number two focus is networks and cable networks, broadband networks in particular, and I just want to mention a little bit about our plans in that area. We are now developing a specific cable system version of 3DO, and we're in many discussions with many different companies in different aspects of uh, uh, the network world, whether they be cable system operators or cable box manufacturers or telephone companies or other companies and we're having, having very good discussions. We expect that uh, in the next couple of months we'll be able to make some announcements about trials that uh, we are going to be participating in, hopefully to kick off uh, towards the end of this year or uh, first quarter of 1994. Now what we bring to this concept of interactive television kind of relates to the three different definitions that people have of interactive television. To some people it's just video on demand, which is the ability to retrieve over a network whatever video you want to see at any time. And of course, from a 3DO perspective, we think that we can not only do this really, really well, we can provide a user interface for it that is so compelling and exciting that people will want to use it more and consume more, and that, that's important to uh, network operators. The second category we call simulcast, and that's where you're, you're looking at a normal broadcast product, but simultaneously you're getting additional digital data delivered into the 3DO system, and maybe that allows you to look up sports scores while you're watching a movie, or maybe it allows you to have a more tightly integrated application where you're playing along or retrieving information during the application. Of course, the third area which is the most exciting is multimedia, and there's a wide variety of applications where the animation and graphics power and the color processing power of 3DO allow tremendous advances in a lot of these multimedia interactive TV concepts. You know, so we, we look forward to the development of a lot of new information services that can really capitalize on 3DO technology. This is a photograph of the final system board for the 3DO system. In fact, I happen to have one right here. And as you can see, there's really not that much to it. It's a two-layer PC board. We have all the final parts on it, and this is going to be going into production very soon. So. It's real. You know, six months ago we had the, the uh, promise and now we have the reality. And that's very exciting. You can tell that something this small and this simple is not going to be that expensive for very long. The Disney Sega Virgin Games deal is just one of the many exciting advances in the entertainment industry's interactive future that are taking shape this week at the Consumer Electronics Show. CNN's Dennis Michael has that story from Chicago. It's real. You know, six months ago we had the, the uh, promise and now we have the reality. The circuit board is the heart of a 3DO interactive compact disc media player. Panasonic will release the first 3DO player in October under the name Real. Wall Street thinks 3DO is real as well. The company's initial stock offering last month made headlines and raised nearly $50 million. The positive response to 3DO indicates that there's a lot of confidence that investors in Wall Street have about multimedia generally and about 3DO specifically. To get specific about 3DO, the device uses the huge data storage capacity of the compact disc for video games, educational programming, and within a few years, full-length movies. The unit is also designed to serve as the control center for video on demand and other information superhighway functions. It'll arrive in electronic stores in October, carrying a list price of about $700. But although the question of which interactive format will catch on is still 
open, 3DO chief Trip Hawkins has little doubt that interactivity is the future mainstream of the consumer electronics business. We like to interact. That's part of our nature as mammals, is to play and to interact, and it's one of the ways that we are creative. And you can't get that just from pushing buttons on your remote control for your TV. There's got to be something more. And the industry hopes much more. Dennis Michael, CNN Entertainment News, Chicago. For home video buffs, there's 3DO. This $700 system lets you add special effects and professional editing techniques to your own videos. What can you do with that picture? Okay, right we can now? take this picture right now, okay, and we can. Oh my God! Yeah, we can quadruple it. We can twist it around. 3DO president Trip Hawkins says all this new technology is aimed at one thing: getting the viewer involved. You can actually feel like you're inside the TV, part of the experience. If it's a sport, you can be on the field. If it's a movie, you can be a character in the movie. Back at the Consumer Electronics Show in Chicago at McCormick Place, uh, the big buzzwords here this year are interactive and multimedia. To help us sort that out and show us some of what's new, we have Michael Rogers, who's technology editor for Newsweek Magazine. Good to have you with us this morning. Good to be here. This is the 3DO machine. This will be available around Christmas time. Right. Very sophisticated new video game machine that will also play these compact discs. Okay. Extremely good graphics, and uh, this is the one the industry is very excited about, but right. not available yet. Okay. And when it becomes available, what will the cost? It'll be around seven hundred dollars okay. for the box. Hello, I'm Richard Hart. Welcome once again to the next step in technology. So, now, you could get millions of colors at the same time if you went to the next step, 32 bits. There is a company that's exploring that realm and beyond. It's called 3DO. This is actually representing about a 50 times jump in the quality and the performance for the graphics and the animation. And that is a bigger leap in one generation than ever before in the history of consumer electronics. 3DO uses compact discs instead of videotape, and it may well become the standard for the next generation of multimedia equipment. The first home units will sell for around $750. You see, in the past, the, the systems, both computers and game systems, have been very limited in realism. And so that's why it's been something mainly for kids and hobbyists. But now you've got enough realism in the picture quality and in the sound that it's really more like interactive television. And we want people to ask, is it TV or is it 3DO? Well, a California high-tech company has gone public and is being met with an enthusiastic reception on Wall Street. Steve Young reports investors are pinning high hopes on the company's new video game machine. The 3DO name sounds like something out of Star Trek, and the new stock soared like something out of biotech. The compact disc game machine's graphics was just part of the razzle-dazzle. Hardware partners like Matsushita working on the production machine and AT&T working on the chips also helped. The initial public offering also looked good to investors because Time Warner and Electronic Arts are working on 3DO software. And 3DO's charismatic CEO, Trip Hawkins, is one of the Pied Pipers of Silicon Valley. Those who invested in Electronic Arts, which he founded, earned seven times their money in four years. Expecting feverish demand, investment bankers first said 3DO would go public at $10 to $12 a share, then priced it at $15. The stock opened at $18.50, and by the end of day one, 3DO closed at 2025, though it has no earnings and no product. All this on just the promise of the best game machine ever by Christmas. If uh, all you had were horse and buggies, and all of a sudden someone tells you by Christmas he'll have the first automobile, uh, would you be willing to make a bet on it? Uh, it's, you know, it, it, it's got a chance. 3DO is supposed to bridge the gap between game machines and PCs. This is a concept sale. It hasn't happened yet. It looks like it's coming together. It might fail. They can be perfectly honest and open about it and say, might not work, guys. And people are still just writing checks like that.
It's the latest public offering to take Wall Street by storm. A look inside the dynamics of 3DO, a Bay Area multimedia giant. 3DO, a San Mateo-based interactive multimedia group, is literally banking on the future. This week's company close-up, KGO Radio's Lynn Jimenez reports on this cutting-edge business that's putting all its faith into one product and one creative CEO. Trip Hawkins is definitely a man with a vision. Not only did he take his electronic arts company to great success as a top producer of electronic games, now he's tapping into the $17 billion interactive multimedia market with a smart little company called 3DO, and he's doing surprisingly well. Interactive is the future, and we think 3DO is going to set the standard. Multimedia is the first consumer electronic medium where you actually do something, you're involved, you're creating your own experience. What's got Wall Street so excited about this little startup company is that 3DO has developed the technology for an interactive multiplayer, which bridges the gap between home computers and children's video games. A lot of people think entertainment just means video games, but for a system like 3DO, it also means simulation, things like flight simulators, which is a, a you know, big uh, adult activity, and also interactive sports. A lot of adults that are interested in sports products we showed this to the Grateful Dead, and they loved it. In fact, we're working on incorporating it into the live stage show. You can put video clips on the same disc. You can put CD quality sound and music on the same disc. And it can all be at your fingertips. And the future of 3DO does lie at consumers' fingertips. You know, the company went public back in May. And even though that raised $48.5 million, 3DO lost $15 million this year alone. And it's been losing money since it started out in 1991. When we started to talk to the uh, Wall, Wall Street people, we realized that because of the uh, history that they've had with biotech companies, they had developed a method for uh, putting a value on these companies even when they didn't have any revenues. Hawkins says he realized his firm had a lot more concrete technology than most biotech companies do, so he'd definitely be able to raise the money. I think a lot of people believe now that the fastest growth technology market in the uh, next decade is going to be multimedia. And the home entertainment industry may never be the same again. For Marketplace, I'm Lynn Jimenez. The 3DO multiplayer will be on store shelves by Christmas. It'll cost around $700. Also, one final note, Ernst & Young recently awarded Trip Hawkins with the CEO of the Year Award in the Bay Area software category. Our congratulations go out to 3DO.